Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In the comments of one of my videos, someone asked me to show how to download a model for the Google AI Edge Gallery Android app. So first of all, I downloaded the app from this GitHub repository. It might be that you can also find it on other websites, but not really sure uh, yeah, about the legitimacy of those websites because if you do a who is then doesn't really point to Google so I think at the time of this video it's best to go to this github repository and just get it from the releases and then uh, download the APK and it might be that you get a warning that uh, you should not install APKs from the web browser from uh, let's just say a website but you can change that in the settings and then it shouldn't be too hard because I think it should just pop up this warning and then you can immediately allow it so if we start the Edge Gallery app, then I think I was already in the process of, no, okay. So this is usually how it starts. So let's just say we want to have a model for AI chat. And then it says there are four models available. But if you try to download one of these, then you can see that you need to have an account at Hugging Face. Uh, so I can imagine that you're a bit fed up of having to sign up for another website so that you think like, well, why doesn't it let me download as is because with a lot of these models on hugging face it's really not a problem to uh, download models and I mean like with some of these models they want you to declare that you're not going to use it for any malicious purposes or those kind of things uh, but yeah so how can you download a model for this AI app? Now, I found this post on uh, Reddit. So someone encountered the same situation and then someone here says you can go to the LightRT community on hanging face so if we go there okay so let's just say yeah this is let's just say their homepage on hanging face and then there are several models so let's just say we take the first one and then you can go to the files and then download one of these models now uh, there is a difference between these models for instance like the top one has web in the name and I think that one is meant for use in a web browser. But for the Edge Gallery app, you need to have just like the regular model. So it needs to end in task and it should not have web in the name. So if we go back to the Gallery app, then you can see in the right and bottom corner there's a little plus sign so if you click on that 
then you can load a local model file. So yeah, let's just say, um, well, let me just show you. I, for some reason, I picked the one with the web in the name as the first one. And well, I think I just let everything default. So I try to import it. That's interesting because I think usually it says that it's not really possible. But let's see what it what happens if we select this one. Oh yeah. So here it says unable to open zip archive. So yeah, don't use a model with web in the name. So let's try that again. And now we oh no 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 We import the one without web in the name. So, yeah, I've seen a lot of reports that uh, with most Android devices, GPU does not work. Uh, of course you can try, but uh, don't be surprised that it doesn't work. So just to be on the safe side, I just let it run on the CPU. So now we select this model and then we ask why is the sky blue. So you can see the stats, uh, I mean like 270 million parameters is like a really, really small model. So yeah, it's no surprise that it uh, feels quite fast. But again, 270 million parameters is like really, really small. But this is the process to load uh, a model that you can download without a login from Hugging Face. Um, yeah, so you have the option to create a, an account with Hugging Face and then uh, set up a token so you can download more models or you can try to find a model that uh, is freely available on Hugging Face without creating an account. So. I hope this um, yeah, really shows how you can do this. And yeah, hopefully um, more models will become available. Uh, if you want me to have a look at converting models for uh, the Google Edge gallery app, then just let me know in the comments and then uh, when I have time, I'll try to have a look at that. So this is all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.